loving what you're supposed to do. So in life, sometimes we have a tendency, perhaps, to a little bit get ahead of ourselves or bite off more than we can chew. But success, in my experience, a lot of times is just, you know, as Joyce Meyer likes to say, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know, just going through the, the day and doing the things, you know, that we're supposed to do. And uh, if we do that consistently, we'll be successful. But the, the part is that it's, it's hard to do it if we don't love it, because it, if we don't love it, it just seems like, oh, another day of doing what I'm supposed to do. Oh, another day. But if we actually can find a way to love it. So another thing Joyce Meyer says is that, you know, if you want to be successful, you know, if your car is dirty, wash it. You know, it's, it's and then she gives, I think, a few more examples, but it's just basically doing the next thing. And uh, so how do you love doing the things that you're supposed to do? Well, I think it's, I think it's kind of being more in the moment and enjoying the process because, you know, it's good to have goals, it's good to have a vision, but your vision never really happens in the future because whatever happens, it's the present. And your vision actually, in some sense, if you think of it this way, can be just wherever you are right now and to enjoy your life and to, uh, uh, I don't want to say make the best of it because that seems like you're not enjoying it, but um, just kind of appreciating each thing. I mean, if you can appreciate each thing and looking at looking at it as, a, as an end in itself, not just a means to an end, like, this is what I think is the spiritual perspective, like respecting things for their own right, each activity, each, each person, rather just a means to an end. Like when we... I believe we could use things in a good way or a bad way, um, you know, and when we, when we use things just as a means to an end, we're not respecting their integrity and their, uh, you know, specialness in, in some way. Like every task, every person, you know, is special. If you could have that, uh, if you could have that feeling towards it. And here's kind of a secret that I've learned that if you, if you really feel things are special, like some people just pretend things are special because they want to kind of manipulate others, but if you actually feel like each interaction brings you joy, other people will will recognize that because everybody wants to feel like you're happy in their presence and that you appreciate them.